on. So today we're doing everyday natural makeup. I'm just kidding, it's, it's doll makeup. So this is one of my favorites to do because it's more like creepy than gory and it's really not so difficult. I think anyone could do it. Everything that I used in this video you can get at a drugstore. I didn't buy anything new for this. This is like my go-to Halloween look because it's cheap and it's fun and it's cute. So keep watching. Let's get started. So I'm already wearing my NARS Tint and Moisturizer and my Estee Lauder Concealer. So go ahead and do your foundation concealer stuff first. We're just going to darken our brow. Actually, you know what? I kind of think it would be cool to put a color in your brow. I might want to put like a purple, so let's hold off for a second. I'll do that at the end. We're going to start with the main feature, which is making our eyes bigger. So let's get out by this. So, eh, 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 no. so grab your white eyeliner. This one is NYX and it was like a dollar. We're going to make it look like we have more whites to our eyes. Ah. It's okay if it gets in your lashes because we don't want that to look like our lash line. We're going to make an additional lash line underneath it. Ooh. You can make this as wide as you want. You kind of want it to like droop down in the center so that it still has that round shape. We're also going to line the water lines. <laughs> Doesn't work if your eyes are watery. Okay, so pretty much something like this. We're going to grab a brown eyeliner. If you could find one, give me brown eyeliner. So this one is Stilla Black Amethyst. It's kind of like a maroony brown. I'm just going to follow the line where the white stops and create a lash line. But you don't want to connect it all the way in the in the tear ducts. We're kind of just going to start from here. Grab a tiny brush, grab a light brown eyeshadow. I'm going to take this light brown from my Lorac palette. So basically we're pretending this is our lash line and we're going to put the regular eyeshadow that we would put under our lash line underneath this. So I don't really have like an order for this, so I'm jumping all over the place. I'm sorry for that. Let's grab our primer. This is Urban Decay Primer Potion. With a flat brush, I'm gonna take a white eyeshadow on the top, but uh, yeah, just follow me. <laughs> We're also gonna take a little bit of the white to set the lines underneath the eyes. Getting all over my contacts. Ah, oh, powder. Woo. Okay, with a crease brush, we're going to grab a hot pink color. We're gonna go in the creases. You kind of just want to like swoop it out so that it doesn't end so abruptly. A little bit on the bottom too. Now with your crease brush, we're gonna go for this purple. By the way, this is my modern sleek palette. We're just gonna go in the outer creases. With the small brush again, we're gonna take that purple. We're gonna go on the outer fake lash line. You wanna lighten the tear ducts more than you normally would because you want it to be like bigger. So like go a little bit further than you would. We're gonna draw our lashes. So grab a liquid liner, preferably with a thin tip. You don't want them to be straight because then it's gonna look like you kinda wanna curve them a little bit. We're gonna start right below where we put the brown eyeliner running out of ink in here because I did my zombie makeup. <sighs> this is so dry. You want the lashes to get shorter on the inner part. Damn, that was really hard. Ay, ay. If you have individual fake lashes, you can also align them. So I'm gonna try to do the left eye a little bit better. Okay, I really don't like the way I just did my lashes. It's already done, so I'm gonna leave them. If you have a really thin brush, you could probably do a better job with gel liner or like a, even wetting your brush and using black eyeshadow. Because this is just... Okay, so this is my drugstore cat eyeliner. I'm making it a little bit thicker than usual just to widen everything. All right, we're also going to draw a huge line as a fake lash. It's less of a wing and more of a fake lash. We're going to draw like three of them. It's easier if you go like this so that you have a flat surface. You need it to go all the way up so that it looks like your top lashes are just as big as your bottom lashes. It makes it easier to do the line if instead of starting at the base and going up, you kind of follow the line again and then swoop. So it's like this instead of like this. Make a flat surface. I'm 
gonna take my angular brush, I'm just gonna get a little bit of black and go on the outer corner just to define that edge there. It looks kind of Barbie, so this is fun. We're gonna grab concealer. We're gonna hide the sides of our lips. So this is my MAC lip liner and edge to edge. You wanna go further up on the Cupid's bow. You wanna kinda cut it off like there. This is NYX, like a liquid lipstick. The color is Milan. It's like a bright pink. Matches the eyeshadow. Mm, it smells nice. Ooh, look at that. I'm loving that. It's so cool. Now, for cheeks, I don't have a really bright, like, fake-looking pink. So I'm going to use the same pink that I used on my eyeshadow. We're going to dab it, like, in a circle right about here, underneath the highlight. Just go like this right on the apples. Take a liquid and just really small dots. Really lightly, I'm gonna draw a couple here. And I'm just gonna fill in the brows. I don't know, I just thought it was cool, so I did that. You know, if I had like a pink, purplish wig, I would probably wear it, that would be really cool. Or if you had like a blue wig, you put blue eyebrows. Now I'm gonna get my really glam lashes. These are the Double Lash Ardell. I think these are 203. Wait for that to get tacky, make sure it's curved. Okay, so that's the final look. If you liked it, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Happy Halloween!